Um, we want to welcome you to our Understanding Virginia's Unemployment Compensation Program or training seminar. And there's no pressure, but how many people here currently have an unemployment claim pending? Anyone? Okay, and it has, is there people here who at least filed an unemployment claim at some point, even if not now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, just kind of we wanted to get a feel of the audience, exactly what everyone might be looking for. And there is going to be a question and answer period at the end. So, if you, and also you can come up to us individually if you think you need help on a particular matter. You can also come up to any of us individually after the seminar. Really quickly, I want to introduce everyone. All the way to my right is Carolyn Calentary. She's an attorney at Legal Aid Justice Center in Charlottesville. Beside me is Marty Wakebright. He's an attorney here in Richmond at the Central Virginia Legal Aid Society. Here we have Erin Trodden. She's also an attorney at Legal Aid Justice Center in Charlottesville. And last but not least is Pat Levy Lavelle. He's an attorney here in Richmond at Legal Aid Justice Center. So if you look at the outline, the agenda, first we're gonna just explain how to file a claim for unemployment benefits, just for anyone who doesn't know or just want more information. Next is eligibility for unemployment benefits. And then there's qualification for unemployment benefits because there's a difference between eligibility and qualifying different things. So it's going to be a nuts and bolts of unemployment compensation law. We're going to have tips for preparing for a deputy interview or appeals hearing. Um, common problems to watch out for, we're going to have a few kind of fact patterns, like if this comes up, this is what you should do. And then at the end, we have our question and answer period. So we're going to get started and Marty's going to start us off. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, See where we can. Good. How to file a claim. Before even talk about how to file a claim for unemployment, let me just say how incredibly uh, overwhelmed the system is right now. This should come as no surprise to anybody who is going through the system right now. It may come as a surprise to other folks. Um, currently, the Virginia Employment Commission is getting roughly 10,000 new claims per week. That's double what they were getting a year ago at this time. But they're handling roughly a thousand appeals per week, and that's roughly double what they were getting at this time um, a year ago. And although they are getting additional uh, federal money to handle these additional claims, not as much as we would have gotten had our unemployment compensation law been reformed in a way that was proposed but not accepted, which I won't go into any further. Uh, even though we are getting some additional money, it just takes time to hire and train new staff to handle the claim and handle the appeals. So if your claim is backlogged or delayed, you're going to loan. Um, and that's why how to file a claim is so important. Um, people have three ways to file a claim for a loan compensation. Uh, next, the first, uh, you can go by internet, uh, by phone or in person. By internet is probably the preferred way. Website www.vampoy.com, you can file online. It takes about 45 minutes to do it. It's a fairly user friendly system. I've, I've seen demonstrations at the Virginia Employment Headquarters um, here in uh, Richmond, and it's, you, know, you can basically log on and apply 24 uh, 7. You don't have a home computer, a lot of public libraries uh, do have computers. Um, and as we'll explain later, the Virginia, uh, the capital region workforce that is also have computers. Uh, next, um, you can also apply by telephone. Um, there is a toll free number and you know, be prepared to wait. Um, there are two toll free numbers, one is to file a new claim and the other is to file a weekly claim. You might want to have a, uh, you know, a magazine or a novel. I would suggest War and Peace <laughs> possibility um, because uh, it is considerable delay. When you do finally uh, get through um, the uh, toll-free number, uh, again, it's all voice menu. It's a fairly sophisticated system. It responds to touch tone, touch tones, um, mostly. Uh, it's again, it's fairly user-friendly. They, they've made efforts um, to make it user-friendly, but you know, have to pay very much attention. Again, it takes maybe 35 to 45 minutes to go through the system. Um, it's, it's somewhat sophisticated in that once you enter your social security number, it'll actually link to your actual uh, employment records, which the BBC has. Um, and eventually you'll get to speak to a customer service representative, but it is uh, a, a, a slow system and a 
it's uh, difficult to get through. Next. Uh, the other way you can get an application in is in person. Um, four and a half years ago, there were three VEC offices uh, in Richmond. It was uh, uh, Middle Lawn, Southside, and Eastside. Now, the only one in the Richmond area is the one out in Mechanicsville. And it is two miles from the end of a bus line. I'm not quite sure what genius thought about that, but that was not a smart move to put the uh, VEC office, the only one in the Richmond area, two miles from the end of the bus line. Um, next. Uh, so that's why you can also apply online or um, they do have the Capital Region Workforce Centers uh, and also this Unemployment Express office. Next. The uh, locations are on the slide. There is this one UI Express office on Meadowdale Boulevard, um, Southside, and then there's uh, five workforce centers. You see three located on this slide. Um, and next slide, you'll see the other two. And those workforce centers, they are the one-stop centers, basically, you go in and you get lots of help in terms of you know, jobs that need to be out there. And they have computers you can apply online there. There's limited help available. Sometimes there are a VC representatives there who you know, can, can help with the application or questions that you might have with what's happening with your uh, claim or your, your application you can follow a while back. Um, but again, it is it is only limited help. It's not as comprehensive a service as the the VEC office out in the mechanics building. And again, if you go to the mechanics building office, you know, again, you know, something that I just asked you to bring along to read would probably help pass the, the time next. Um, okay, once you've applied, you have to understand the <coughs> steps in uh, an unemployment compensation case. Uh, there's basically three administrative uh, steps and then a fourth and final step, which is the uh, circuit court appeal. Uh, the three administrative steps, um, the deputies, fact writing review and determination, and then you have an appeals examiner hearing a decision, and then lastly, a special examiner's review um, and a decision. Next. Now you'll get a written decision at each step, and each uh, step can be appealed, but that appeal has to be filed in writing within 30 days. Uh, there's basically three ways to appeal. You can appeal um, by internet, you can appeal by faxing to the VEC, uh, your division headquarters, or you can appeal by mail. Uh, obviously, if you appeal by mail, please save a copy of your appeal letter, and the same thing with your fax. Question? And all that is only if there's some conflict. If you were simply let go because there's no work and you were laid off and there's no date for Re, re, you know, no opportunities in the future to work with the company. They just simply call the company, whoever the VEC calls that company and says, "Who's this person?" Right, and, and, and then uh, there's no wish. Exactly. I'll get into that, that next slide, deputy. Uh, once you file a claim, what happens is your your, your former employer is sent a report of separation, and they report back why you no longer work there. And they might say, like you just said, laid off, no work. At which point, it's not a controversy, and the deputy issues a determination. You're you're qualified. But there may be a controversy. The former employer may say, you were discharged and it was for work-related misconduct. Or your former employer may say, um, this person voluntarily quit and it was without good cause. Or they may say, well, this job ended, but we offered a different job and we thought that job was suitable and the person turned it down. So if there's any kind of a conflict that arises as a result of an employer's report, then the deputy will schedule a telephonic fact-finding interview. And it's important to understand that this is an interview, it's not a full-blown hearing. And the deputies, they're all over the state, from Grundy to Southside to Hampton Roads to Northern Virginia. You get a notice telling you, you know, you know when the date time of the telephonic fact-finding interview, deputy gets the player on the phone, sometimes it gets you on the phone. Usually at the same time, sometimes it'll be split, so they won't be on the phone at the same time. Deputy gets a brief statement from the employer, why is this person no longer working there? Brief statement from you, why you no longer working there? The employer has a brief opportunity to respond, you have a brief opportunity to respond. The whole thing is over in 10 to 15 minutes. Why? Because it's like 60 some deputies statewide and they're expected to produce about 25 or so of these determinations a day. So you do the math, they got about maybe 15, 20 minutes tops for each one of those uh, fact-finding um, interviews.